What's up you guys, Eddie at Fliptronics. I'm gonna be doing a gaming performance review on the Sony Xperia 10 Plus. All right, so I've got two good games we're gonna be checking out here, F1 Mobile and Xenowork. I wanna cover a couple of the specs first, but anyways, this phone's got a 6.5 inch LCD display. You're gonna notice that it's a little bit long. Um, you know, when it comes to watching videos on here, it's really good, but some of the games are gonna be cut off on the screen, which we're gonna see in just a second here. Uh, the phone sells for about 430 bucks, so it's got like a nice mid-range price point. It's also got a Snapdragon 636 processor that runs games really well. And honestly, it's a pretty a pretty solid phone. But anyways, I'm gonna load up F1 Mobile. I've also got the volume turned up all the way here. So you are gonna hear the phone um, you know, on its loudest setting. If you wanna learn more about it, I'll leave a link down there for our full review. If you have any questions about this phone, you can always message me below in the comments. But you know, I think it's a pretty solid mid-range phone. And, uh, you know, I, this is definitely like one of my favorite racing games right now. I've been doing a lot of gameplay on it um, as of late. All right, so you can kind of see the screen cut off right here. Like I said, really nothing you can do about it. You kind of just got to deal with it. So this game played pretty solid. Um, I do want to load up another game here. Uh, but you know, uh, the sound quality on the phone's really good too. So I mean, uh, definitely no issues with the sound. Uh, Xeno works the second game I want to load up. This is like an alien shooter. But like I said, you are gonna have to deal with the cutoff screen on here, which is definitely a little bit annoying. Uh, you know, nothing you can really do about it. But <clears throat> anyways, uh, let's uh, get into some of this game. This is an awesome alien shooting game. If you've never played it before, definitely recommend everybody check it out. It's a really sweet game. I'm gonna take it back to the uh, home screen right here. So anyways, uh, you know, just some closing comments when using this phone. 
Uh, you know, I mentioned that, you know, when you're watching <clears throat> video on here, the screen does actually adapt really well. So like when I load up Netflix, for example, it actually takes up the whole screen like it should. But when you're playing some of these games, it does not, which is kind of frustrating. But like as far as this phone works for, you know, watching Netflix, it's actually really good. So check this out. I mean, you get the full screen here <clears throat> when you're watching Netflix uh, on that nice LCD. But uh, like I said, the problem being on some of the games you're going to be playing on here, you are going to be cut off a little bit, which, you know, can be a little frustrating. <clears throat> for the most part, though, uh, you know, still a solid phone. And I think uh, for like a mid-range phone like this one, the price point of $430, it's definitely worth a look. Um, if you have any questions about it, you can hit me up below in the comments. I'll get back to you. You can also check out our full review on it. As always, guys, thanks for watching it, and we'll see you all later.